Hey guys, this lesson we are going to introduce you how to control the robotic arm by PSG handle. First of all, insert the handle receiver into the controller. Please pay attention to the installation direction, then switch on the robotic arm. Prepare to triple A batteries in advance, and then insert them into the battery slot. Please pay attention to the positive and negative poles. Now switch on the handle. At this time, two LED lights of the handle will flash simultaneously, which means that the handle is not connected. When the two indicators keep on, which means the connection has been complete. If only the green light is on after connection, you can press mode button. There is two control modes for handle control. The first one is grid mode. You can press buttons to call corresponding action groups. This is the default mode after turning on. Another mode is single servo mode, and it will be explained later. Now I will introduce you the action group mode. There are twelve buttons on servo, which corresponds to the twelve action groups that has downloaded into the controller. Except twelve action groups, you can press start button to perform number zero initial action. If you want to execute number one action group, you can press up button in the left side. If execute number two action, you can press down button to perform it. If you want to perform more action groups, you can refer to this table to learn about the correspondence between the button and action group, or learn it in the corresponding tutorial. Now let's talk about single servo mode. You can press the corresponding button to control the rotation of each servo on robotic arm. How to switch this mode? Press select button first without releasing, and then press start button. You can release your hand until hearing the prop sound, which means mode has been switched successfully. Okay, let's look at how to operate. There are twelve buttons on handle corresponding to the rotation of six servos on the robotic arm. For example, if you want to control only one servo. You can press L2 and R2 buttons to control the opening and closing of gripper. If you want to control only two servo, you can press buttons to control the rotations of gripper. Press the up or down button to control only fourth servo. The following video shows you other actions corresponding to the buttons. You can also view this table to learn about the corresponding relationship. If you want to switch to the action group mode, you can press select button first without releasing, and then press start button. In addition, there are two points to be mentioned. The first point is, before performing the action group, you need to download the action group into the controller first, and the download mode can be referred to the corresponding tutorial. If you purchase the assembled robotic arm, you can skip this step because the action groups has been downloaded before delivery. The second point is if the handle isn't connected to the robotic arm in 30 seconds after switch on the handle, or have no operation within five minutes after connection, the handle will enter slip mode. If you want to wake the handle up, you can press start button. Okay, this is the end of the video. Please have a try.